everyone and welcome to my scrappy space. So today I'm going to show you how I have my stickers stored and how I utilize my stickers. Actually, I don't utilize them and that is part of my problem. So I am hoping that as I go through this hop, I will see how other people are having theirs stored and maybe that will help me. So let me get going here. I'm not going to open these drawers because of the fact that when I pull them out, they squeak really, really bad. But you will see them when we pop over to the desk. So these top two drawers here, this one is the neutral thickers and these are the colored ones. The other place that I have them stored, I have them stored in my little cart here. And what I've done is I've just pulled some that are seasonal, like I had spring and summer, and that's pretty much what's so in here. I have them there. Now we have one other place. And this is the other place that I keep my stickers. I pick these up at Hobby Lobby for super, super cheap, and I just use them for different stickers, alpha strips, my alphas, and these are just my little washi strips that's in this book. So I just take my smaller ones and I just put them in here. It's just something quick and easy and that way I can flip through it, pull it out and put it with a page kit or, you know, anything like that. But I find that I don't do a whole lot of titles and that is gonna be one of my big things that I'm gonna work on for the rest of the year, but mostly for one of my big goals of 2023. And so I just wanted to show you that's what's in here. So currently I am not purchasing alphas. I have now gone to where I use my dyes and I also use the foam that you can get at the craft store or at say Walmart or something like that. And I run it through my dye. So I have a variety of dyes that I have been using, but I do have some thickers. So I'm gonna show you my two drawers and I'm gonna kind of walk you through those. So this is the one drawer. And as you can see, I can barely get this all in into the screen here, but this is the front of it and this is the end of it. So I don't have a whole lot. And the nice thing about this is I realized that about myself is that I am not one to use a lot of thickers. So I have, I have quite a few, but I don't have like tons, tons, tons. So what I've done is I've just done, you know, pink, red, multicolor, purple, blue, green, orange, and then at the very back I have rainbow. So. I followed Janet from Love RTS. She suggested pulling them out of the this kind of a sleeve, which I used to do quite a bit. Those are damaged now that I look at it. Um, and I put them in these. And I do like this better. It's just more substantial and I just prefer this. I may go ahead and cut off the tops of these. I haven't decided yet. But the thing that I do like about it is that if you have something in here and it falls off, it's not gonna come out. So I did go ahead and purchase some of these, what are they, six by nine or six by 12, excuse me. And so I have done a lot of the different alphas and I've put them in there. So I just have these separated and I wanted to utilize them a little bit more with my cart and I need to bring that back into practice a little bit more. And see, when I look through those, I'm like, oh, those are super cute. I love the orange one. So it's one of those things, I don't know. Like, I love those. I need to pull those and use them. They're so cute. So this just needs to come to the front of my mind when I am working with a sketch. Do you guys pull forward thickers and then come up with a title or do you guys come up with a title and then pull thickers? I would really love to know. I struggle with thickers and I would really like to know how to use them because I love them when I see them on other people's stuff and there is something to be said about placing those letters on your layout. I love it. It's just something that I just struggle with. I'm going to go ahead and grab my neutral set of thickers. Okay, I thought maybe if I turned it at an angle, it might be a little bit better. So these are my white ones. And 
uh, gray, silver, black. Here's some glitter ones. And come, these go back towards tan and brown. And as you can see, I don't have all of them in those plastic containers. Some of them are still in the the manufacturer package. This is this drawer. And so I do try to keep them separated between neutrals and colors. Now let's go take a peek at my cart. Okay, so in my cart here, I have some sticker books. I had purchased these Simple Story sticker books that come with a bunch of different alphas. And I really like that, except they are a little bit thinner than I was hoping for, but that's okay. We can always work with everything. And then I just have a variety of alphas in here, or thickers, excuse me. And then these go into some sticker words. And this is a lot of the sticker words that I have. I think I'm saying those words right. Anyways, so that's what I have here. And then in the back here are, are more of them. Some of these are Felicity. Ooh, Felicity Jane. Well, that shouldn't be in there, but that's awful pretty, isn't it? Better pull that out. <laughs> See, you just never know what you're going to find. So that is how I have them stored in my little cart. The thing that I do like about this book is that these small little alphas, they don't get lost. I can just put them in here and I have them. And the paper on these, it's not the best, but that's okay because if it gets destroyed, it's no big deal. It's the main thing that's keeping the protection of them are these plastic folders here. So if you guys can find some of these, that might work really, really well for you. I sure enjoy having these in here. At least I know that things aren't lost or slipped behind something. I will probably go ahead and just adhere these into this little book so that I am utilizing them more. Might move some of these strips around and stuff. I might have access to all of my letters or my alphas. I thought I would go ahead and share with you how I'm going to put these in my little happy planner. I already purchased the punch a long time ago. I think I got it on a 50% off coupon with Joann's or whatever. So if I ever run low on these, I can always make some and more. It's pretty easy to make these binders if you have a laminator or know a friend who has you one can use whatever kind of paper you want laminate it punch these holes in it buy some happy planner discs and make some little notebooks for yourself so i'm going to go ahead and adhere a couple of these one of the things that um i remembered too late of course for the first one was that when you're making these make sure that you use, whoops, had a piece of pic, picture in there. And I like to take off the little top of them. Oh, what happened to my other one that was the same color right here? Sorry, I wanna keep these together because I was doing one on one side and one on the other. But the thing is, is if you want to keep your letters together, you're gonna to wanna to put one on the front and one on the back. <laughs> So, let me show you what I'm talking about. If you wanna be able to pull these and put them in a page kit or something, and this is what I do, I just lightly tack those down. I put them in there. This is a great little project. If you're out in the living room with your husband or your friend, or you wanna just do a little quick 15 minutes, there you go. And then it goes in. And then you've got it. And so you can just flip through. And if you decide that's the color you want, you can always pull this out and throw it in with your page kit. So I just thought I would show you how to go ahead and do one of those. And I'm going to go ahead and get to the rest of these while I'm visiting with my husband. I encourage you guys to go watch everybody in this hop. It is gonna be so much fun and I can't wait to see what all of our little friends have done with their thickers. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and you're out there making some memories. We'll talk to you real soon, bye-bye.